I know I'm not the only controller player that doesn't have a scuff controller or any controller with paddles. And yes, it's a disadvantage to play on console and not use a scuff controller, but you can still have good movement without a scuff. So even if you don't have a scuff controller, you can still use movement to outplay people. Today, I'm going to talk to you about having good movement on controller without paddles. Because I've been playing Warzone for about two years now on controller, and I had to adapt my movement because I don't have a scuff. Having good movement with paddles is different than having good movement with a normal controller. Because you have to take your thumb off the analog stick that you use to aim if you want to press any other buttons to jump or slide cancel while you're in a gunfight. So taking your thumb off the analog stick is going to put you at a disadvantage because you can't aim while you're jumping or slide canceling because you're losing valuable milliseconds from the time that it takes to press the slide button or the jump button and then get your thumb back on the aiming analog stick. And in a game like Call of Duty where the time to kill is measured in milliseconds, taking your thumb off the analog stick for even milliseconds can be the difference between winning and losing a gunfight. The second thing that I want to talk about is using movement to outplay people. And I have a clip here to show you as an example. I'm plating up. I turn around and I immediately see this guy. I'm caught off guard and he is already aiming down sight at me. So I'm at a disadvantage here. I'm going to play the clip a little bit further. He lands a shot on me, and instead of trying to ego challenge, I'm going to use this wall to outplay him. And I'm going to play the full clip in a second, but I just want to talk about what's going on right here. The, what do most people do? The first thing they do is try to run back up and plate up and reset the fight. Well, in this situation, I know his first instinct is going to be to push me because he's going to think that I'm backing up and plating. I'm going to surprise him by going by behind cover to make him think that I'm backing up. I know that he's going to start sprinting towards me, so immediately I'm going to re-challenge and catch him by surprise. So here he's sprinting towards me and I catch him by surprise. I'm going to play this clip again at full speed so you can see what's going on here. I'm caught by surprise. I use the cover to trick him. I surprise him. He's sprinting towards me and he really has no chance because of the sprint to fire time. So I sprinted behind cover and then I immediately jumped around the corner and re-challenged. Even though the movement wasn't complex, that was all I needed to win that gunfight. So that's one way you can use movement to outplay people. Using cover and jumping is very valuable when you don't have a scuff controller. I have another clip for you. In this clip, I 1v4 a squad and get this squad wipe. And these players weren't great, but I'm going to show you how I use movement to make them miss and survive in this situation. So I pop dead silence. I hit the flank on these guys. I broke the second guy. I can see that I'm sorry. I want to rewind this. I broke the second guy. I can see that I'm running out of ammo. So I immediately switch weapons. And as I'm switching weapons, I turn to the right and jump to break his line of sight and to make it more difficult for him to land shots on me. Had I not done that, he probably would have killed me. Because even though these guys weren't very good, the time to kill is fast in Warzone. If I was just standing there, it wouldn't have been hard for him to land a few more shots and down me. So in this situation, I was going to have to switch weapons and take my thumb off the analog stick anyways. So basically, as soon as I press Y to switch weapons, I immediately jumped, turned to the right, and jumped at the same time. So while I was switching weapons, I was also moving to break his line of sight. So I break the line of sight, I down that guy, I kill that guy, and then I immediately see the pings on the minimap that this guy is right behind me. He doesn't have a weapon, so I just turn around and kill that guy. And then at this point, I recognize that these guys aren't good players, so I immediately just challenge this guy on the stairs and win that gunfight, and that, that's the squad wipe that was all four of them. And again, I don't claim to have the best movement in the world or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just trying to use these clips as an example to try to give you guys some tips on how you can use movement to outplay people. And the last thing I want to say is don't slide cancel or jump or try to bunny hop mid gunfight. And when I say mid gunfight, I'm saying that the enemy sees you, you see them, and you both start to take shots at each other. From that point, you have to commit to your gunfights and just focus on hitting your shots. After you and another player have already engaged in a gunfight, don't try to jump or bunny hop or slide cancel mid gunfight because you will have to take your thumb off of the right analog stick. And it can also throw your aim off because you will not be centered on your target. You will have to re-center. That can be the difference between winning and losing the fight. 
In other scenarios, you can use slide canceling and movement to get around the map and to get to cover. For example, if you're out in the open, you can slide cancel and use movement to make it more difficult for him to land shots on you until you can get to cover. There's plenty of other things that I could talk about, but I don't want this video to be extremely long, so I think I'm going to end it here. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos of tips on how to have better movement without a scuff controller. That's pretty much it for this video. Leave a like in the video and subscribe. I've been getting a lot of support recently on my videos and I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone that comments, likes, and subscribes on my videos. I enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'm out.